made possible with help from Eunice. A better world. Shouldn't that be a capital A? 13.2. What affects the colour of a complex? Well, there are four reasons, but the IB needs you to know three reasons. The first reason is the identity of the metal iron. Is it chromium? Is it copper? Etc. Two, the identity of the ligands. Is it water? Ammonia? Cyanide? And three, oxidation state of the metal iron. Is it plus two, plus three? All right, so a complex is made of essential transition metal iron with ligands datively covalently attached. Now, the fourth reason that isn't IB is how many ligands are attached. But we are only going to look at six ligands, the so-called octahedral shape. So the electronic configuration, shorthand, is argon, 3D, well, I don't know, let's say 3D2. So when the ligands make their dative covalent bonds, the d orbital is going to split in a 3-2 fashion, just like that. And that is called delta E, the energy difference between the lower and the upper d orbitals. Light goes through, light is absorbed, and that energy takes an electron from a lower to a higher energy level. And what's left behind, well, that's the colours that you see. So big split means a big jump, means big energy absorbed. Big energy being violet. So let's just reset this complex. If I have a small delta E, small split, small jump, small energy absorbed, so that's going to absorb red light to promote the electron. And as the split gets bigger, the light that's absorbed is going to have increasing energy all the way through to violet. So let's look at reason one, the identity of the metal iron. Well, both of these have a metal iron that are isoelectronic to each other. They have the same number of electrons in the same place. They are both argon 3D5. So the manganese has 25 protons and the iron has 26 protons. And so the more protons there are, the more interaction there is with the ligands and the bigger the split. So manganese is going to have the smaller split and iron with one more proton is going to have a bigger split. So how can we work out what colour is going to be absorbed? Well, I'm going to tell you that, that manganese absorbs green light. And so iron, if it's got a bigger split, it has to absorb a higher energy light and it actually absorbs blue light. So looking at the manganese, green is absorbed. So what happens to that energy? Well, it's used to promote an electron from a lower to a higher energy level. Does it really matter which one and where it goes in IB? Now, what's the colour opposite green? It's red. And so that's why manganese is a kind of pale red colour. That's the colour that's left behind. You've got to use the colour wheel. Iron absorbs blue light to promote an electron to a higher energy level. And so what colour is going to be seen? Well, what colour is opposite blue? It's kind of orange. Well, it's not quite that orange. So to be honest, the colour that's absorbed is kind of bluey violet. And so that's why the colours opposite are orangey yellow. So that's iron hexahydrate 3 plus is orangey yellow. Let's look at another example. Both of these, again, are isoelectronic, so you have to be able to spot those examples. Which is going to split the most? Well, titanium has 22 protons, and vanadium has 23. So titanium splits less than vanadium. An electron's promoted, and yellow light is absorbed with the titanium, and for the vanadium complex, it must be high energy, and it's actually kind of yellowy green light that's absorbed there. It's a higher energy, bigger split, more protons. The opposite of yellow is that kind of violet color, so that explains the violet color of the titanium complex, and the opposite of yellowy green is kind of violety red, which explains the color of the vanadium complex. 
on to the second one, the identity of the ligands. Well, there's a spectrochemical series at the top. It's in the data booklet. The further to the right, the bigger the split for the ligands. And the further to the left, the lower the split. So let's look at this copper complex. First with water, and then a bunch of the water is replaced by ammonia. That's the first split. That's going to be the smallest split, because as you add ammonia, ammonia is further to the right on the spectrochemical series, the split's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and absorb higher and higher energy light. There's my colour wheel. The first one there is a light blue colour. So what sort of light was absorbed? Well, if it's a light blue colour, then it must have absorbed orange light, because that's opposite on the colour wheel. And as we go down, more and more ammonia is replacing the water ligands, so the split's going to be bigger. And so it's deep violet, right down at the bottom one, is the colour. So what was absorbed to make it look deep violet, well, that has to be yellow. It has to be a higher energy light than orange, because it's a bigger split. Yellow is higher energy than orange. And the third reason is the oxidation state of the metal iron. Now, don't say the charge on the metal iron. The IB get their knickers in a twist over that, and they won't give you the point. The charge on the metal iron in the first one is 2+, plus, but the oxidation state is plus 2. Subtle difference, plus 2 for the oxidation state. So the lower the oxidation state, the smaller the split, because the less the interaction with the ligands. So the iron plus 2 oxidation state has a small split. Red light's absorbed. Electron is promoted, and the complex is green, because when your ICs are in yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, it perceives green. For the second one, the oxidation state is plus three, bigger split, bigger oxidation number, so it has to absorb a higher energy. Actually, it absorbs violet, and so it appears yellow. Okay, some questions. Which complex would have the highest energy gap? Absorb the highest... Oh, I just got to switch to the Iron Maiden. It's my favourite solo. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Chemistry in a second. Fantastic. Okay, so that's a trick. Those are all the same. Those are all the same question. So, you have to be able to spot the three different sorts of examples. The first one is the oxidation state makes a difference. So the chromium 3 plus has the bigger split. The second one, they're isoelectronic to each other. So more protons, more interaction with the ligands, bigger split. So it's vanadium. And the final one, you have to look at the spectrochemical series. The one further to the right has a bigger split. So the ammonia-based one. Smashing.